Hello guys and welcome back to Get to the Python. Today we will see how we can prepare our own word cloud using Python. So if you don't know what a word cloud is, I have one right here in front of me. So this one is a word cloud with words written in form of cloud and we will see how we can prepare one for ourselves using Python. So without wasting any time, let's get started. First of all, we need to install some Python dependencies to prepare word cloud. So we need sudo pip3 install word cloud and this library will help us to prepare our own word cloud. Now I have all of them installed that is word cloud, matplotlib, numpy and pillow. But for you, if you are using for the first time, it might take some time to download all of these. And once it's done, we can move further. So from word cloud, import word cloud. And we will need matplotlib.pyplot to plot our word cloud. Now I have some random text written here and we will use this words to prepare our cloud so it is as simple as writing cloud well you can name it anything you want and word cloud dot generate and pass your string now this will break your string into words and prepare a cloud from them now it's time to plot it so plt dot im show and pass cloud here now plt dot show will display the cloud now using these nine lines of code we have done the job for us let's see how it works so here it is but it's not looking that nice so what we'll do is we'll remove these axes and change the background to white so here background color is equal to white and plt dot axis is off and now running it you can see that we have our own word cloud present here let's try running it again and you can see that it will change it every time when you run it so that's how simple it is to create your own simple word cloud now you can use different variations to give this word cloud different forms different sizes different colors etc but for this video we have our own simple word cloud present here so that's it for this video guys stay tuned bye bye and have fun with python and we'll be back with some more cool videos and other python stuff